Hello guys and welcome in the fifth episode. In this episode we will implement the flag rotation so every time we click on the flag all of the flags will start rotating. Once we will see the back of the flags the different texture different flag of will be applied to this to this flag object and in that way we will have another set of flags for our next question. So let's get started. Okay stop the project open our project go to the scripts folder and open our flag manager we need to add a few functions here so so first of all i will add the function to rotate the flags so right at the bottom of the flag manager i will add the function called loop rotate rotation so this function will will return i enumerator okay because we will use this function inside our coroutine so i will call it loop loop rotation and we will pass the angle okay first of all we will put a few variables so float float direction will be equal to 1f float rotation speed will be equal to 90.0f then uh, float start angle will be equal to false uh, sorry angle and then bool assigned will be equal to false okay so now we want to loop um, so while while our angle is more than zero we want to uh, set the step so float step will be equal to time dot delta time times rotation speed rotation speed so it's gonna be rot speed okay uh, so the next thing we want to actually rotate our flag objects so flag flag objects at zero dot get component I want to get the transform component dot rotate and I will pass the new vector three and the first parameter will be zero the second will be two and the third will be zero and then you want to multiply it by step and by direction okay so we want to do the same thing for the other two flags so I will just duplicate this line twice and then right at the beginning we need to just change the index so we want to do the same for the flag index one and then two okay now below we want to check if our angle so if angle is less or equal than uh, start start angle divide by three okay so we want to just check if the flux is currently turned so we won't see the the old the old texture so when i catch that moment and the assigned is equal to false okay so if we did not assign the flag we wanna we wanna do we wanna assign assign new flags and then we want to set assigned to be equal to true okay and then below we want to do the angle minus equal to so we want to rotate by two degrees and then we want to yield from it so yield yield return null okay so return I just made a spelling mistake there 
again return okay so we are to return null right and then outside this while loop we want to restart the the rotation for our flag so while we just copy this flag object dot get component transform down below and then i'll put dot rotation make sure you use the member variable not the function so it's a lower case uh, is equal to quaternion dot identity okay so we want to do the same for the other two flags so i just duplicate it and change the index right so once we rotate the flags we want to restart its rotation okay so we have the loop rotation function now we need to call this function and now we call this function from uh, from our first first run so at the beginning we want to assign on the first run we want to assign the flags and then we want to do the uh, we want to start, start coroutine so we want to call this function from the coroutine start coroutine and then i'll pass this function and i'll pass the 90 degrees here okay so if we save everything now and go back to unity okay if we press play from the main menu and then get inside our game you see the flags are rotating okay but nothing happened on the press yet so let's do let's actually implement the action so whenever we press on the flag the flag will rotate and apply a different image so go back to the visual studio right and then inside the flag manager below the first run i will create new function called load next game so it's going to be public void load next game so inside this function first thing we will start the rotating the flags so i will copy the start coroutine and then down down below i will call m underscore game data dot get new countries so i will call it get 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 new countries uh, i see i made the spelling mistake inside this function so let's get into that function just press f12 on it and now we just change the name so we'll actually do the control rr so we're gonna change uh, name everywhere or i can just modify just do the get here so get get there and then get okay we wanna right so the get new countries and that's it okay let's save everything and now go back to the flag script so inside the flag script we will need um, three variables the first one will be the reference of our flag manager so it's going to be private flag manager i will call it m underscore flag flag manager okay another one will be private bool uh, load new game will be equal to false and then private bool button pressed will be equal to false okay so on the start function we want to assign this flag manager so the flag manager inside out start function uh, the m underscore flag manager will be equal to game object dot find and we want to find the main camera so because the flag manager script is attached to the main camera so i will call my main camera dot get component and we want to get component flag manager flag manager and we want to get it as flag 
as flag manager, okay? So let's save everything and I will actually double check if the main camera containing this flag manager uh, script, otherwise the game will crash. So go back quickly to the Unity, okay? Inside, uh, go to the scenes and the game scene and click on the main camera and make sure you have the flag manager in. So I have it, so that's fine. And the main camera is called main, main camera. So that should not be any problem. Okay, but go back to the Visual Studio now. So the, the next thing we want to do is we want to implement uh, the on mouse, on mouse down function. So we call void on mouse, on mouse down. Okay. And then if button press would be equal to false, we want to set load new game will be equal to true. Okay. So if we press button, we want to load new game. But this function, this variable actually prevent us from clicking multiple times on the same button. Or maybe, maybe actually for now, let's comment this F statement because we don't want to deal with this variable at this point. We will use it later, but not at this point. So just comment this one out like that. And then inside our out update function, I will use the load if load new game is equal to true then we wanna uh, m underscore flag manager dot load next game okay so if we press on the flag we want to load next game so the flags will rotate and we assign the new flags so we want to restart this variable as well load new game will be equal to false okay so we can load another game All right so i think that's it from this script let's save everything go back to the unity and then go back uh, open the scene folder make sure you go you go you are in the main menu and inside the main menu just press play and see how everything is looking okay the seems like the flags are not responding. Uh, there is actually one reason why that can't be. Um, there might be something like switch to the scene view. Scroll up a little bit, open the game scene, and then click on the control flag. And then collision box, just click edit here. This collision box size is set to 0 0.0001, so it's very small. So I think this is the reason why it's not responding, because the, basically the size is like very tiny. So if we stop stop the game, go to the game scene, open, click on any country flag, and then right at the top you have this prefab. So you have a button open, so click open. So we are opening the, open the prefab. We can either open like that or we can go to the prefab folder and then click on this flag, country flag is that is doing exactly the same and under the collision box make sure you're changing this size to be two so two and two okay so okay let's go to the file save scene and then when we're switching now you see if we check and uncheck the collision box the collision box is much wider now okay okay switch to the game view go back to the main main menu scene yes let's save everything so now when we press play our flags are rotating make sure you press on three of them if you can press outside of the flag and the flag still rotating that's mean the collision box is a little bit too big so yeah, seems like everything is working and every time we press on the flag, the different texture is applied on it. So that's it for this episode. So in the next episode, we will actually implement this text button. We will add the back, back, back button here and we will start implementing the different games mode. So we can load different continents and we can switch between those games mode. So that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if, uh, if you think it's helpful. So see you again in the next episode.